All right, and in this last example, we're going to compare and contrast what happens when you're just looking for sample size of size one versus sample size of say 36. Um, and just to see how the probabilities change in that. So the heights of 18 year old men are approximately normally distributed. So even though it's already normally distributed, we can run it through the central limit theorem and it's still going to stay normally distributed. Now, the mean is 68 inches and a standard deviation of three. All right, so what is the probability that an 18 year old man selected at random is between 67 and 69 inches tall? So we are looking for a sample size of one, right? Just randomly select one person and we wanna find the probability that they're between 67 and 69 inches tall. Since we're told that this is approximately normal, we don't have to do anything fancy. We can just find the normal probability, right? So convert 67 and 69 into its z-score. Right, and that's gonna be the probability that's negative 0.33 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 0.33. And then again, this is the probability that z is less than or equal to 0.33 minus the probability z is less than or equal to negative 0.33, which going into our chart gives us 0.6293 minus 0 0.3707. And that's 0.2586. Right, so about 26% chance that the person that you randomly select has a height between 67 and 69 inches. Now, let's say that we take a sample of 36, 18 year old men. We wanna find the probability that the average of their heights is between 67 and 69. So we are looking at the sampling distribution. And remember that the, the mean of the sampling distribution of sample means is equal to just the regular population mean, which is 68. And the standard deviation of the sampling mean, uh, sampling distribution of the sampling mean, or the standard error for short, is equal to the population standard deviation divided by the square root of n. So in this case, our standard deviation was three. Our sampling size is 36. So that gives us three over six, which gives us one half. Good. All right, I'm going to write that as a decimal, 0.5. Now, we want to find the probability that the average of these 36 people have a height that's between 69, 67 and 69 inches. That's why I'm using the X bar instead of the X, right? Because we're looking at the average. That's going to be the probability Again, convert it to z-scores. That should not be that way. Ignore that. Less than or equal to z, less than or equal to 69 minus 68 over 0.5. And that gives us probability of negative two, less than or equal to z, less than or equal to positive two. So again, that's going to be the probability of z less than or equal to two minus the probability of z less than or equal to negative two, which gives us 0 0.9772 minus 0 0.0228, which gives us 0 0.9544, right? So that is a huge discrepancy. If you were to randomly select one person, the probability that their height is between 67 and 69 inches is about 26%. But if you were to take 36 people and find out the height of all 36 people and then take the average of those heights, then there is about a 95% chance that the average of those heights is between 67 and 69 inches, which there's a huge jump here that's a 70% jump between these two, right? So taking the sampling mean, the sampling distribution of the sample mean, 
gives you a, a better, <clears throat> well-rounded picture of what's actually going on in the world, as opposed to just one-off. Like, this is a very special one person here. Whereas 36 kind of gives you a, <clears throat> a better sense of what's happening in the population.